Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And today we're going to be reacting to Taylor Dane, Love Will Lead You Back. And I, uh, I remember this song strongly because it was a really big hit for Taylor Dane. Um, she had a few, she had a few number one hits. Yeah, she did. And then she just kind of vanished, didn't she? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, she's probably still making albums, but she's probably irrelevant because she's probably over the age of 50. Like most people, when they turn a certain age, they don't get played on the radio in the United States anymore. Um, unless they're a man. But... Boy. It is true. Sarcasm much? Well, it is true. But anyways, we're going to listen to the song. Yep. Watch the video, which I have never seen the video, but I've, seen, I've heard the song mm -mm. many, many, many years ago. It is a cover song. A cover for what? I I don't. It's a, someone else originally made it. I think it was from the Motown era. I, I'm not sure, but someone out there probably knows about Taylor Dane and about this song. But I, I'm almost certain that it was a Motown hit, and then she recorded it, re-recorded it, whatever, remade it. As people tend to do a lot yeah. in this industry anyways well all right let's get to it she was always pretty stop it every now and then because I keep getting blocked on a lot of the videos um but when you think of it so far she's so pretty yeah and she's so and she ha she reminds me of kind of uh Celine Dion with that seductive ballad it's a very slow song yeah it, but it's very seductive, and she's got her own unique sound. If you close your eyes, you can probably think that she was she was not a white lady. Yeah, exactly. That's one of these nights. Well, I'll hear your voice again, and you're gonna say uh, how much you miss me. You'll walk out this door. Someday you'll walk back in uh, Darling, I know
have some powerful lungs. Okay. I paused it so I talk. Okay. I like her high pitch, the, the, the high notes, but I like the fact that she's also not doing that chirpy shit that I hate. Yeah. She's well, hold, that's what she's I'm holding, saying. She's that... holding... What was it? She's holding the note... Yeah. Without straining. Without without going over the edge Correct. of the cliff in music, that, as they say. So, yeah. See. Like Whitney was known for. Correct. Whitney was known for going high pit, high high notes, but knowing where to stop where it doesn't sound horrible. could tell she had she she was effortless in her um vocal abilities mm -hmm. it did it she was just standing there i mean i yeah it was pre-recorded because it's a video but i mean i i could see her in the studio not having to really do too much because she had that mm -hmm. that oomph that you need that um to carry yourself into a higher note. I see her up there on that. Uh, oh, Prove Your Love was another hit of hers. Yes, I know. I anyway. think the song that turned me on to Taylor Dane back when she first came out, I think her first song that came out was Don't Rush Me. Don't Rush Me. No, I know the I song. I made that mistake. Was that her? Oh, yeah. Was that her or yeah. was that somebody else? That was Taylor okay. Dane, yeah. I was just that, actually... that was her big, big hit. Okay. So, anywho, and I just remember loving like said, that I song. Like, so okay, well, we're not reacting to that song. We're reacting to this song. I know that. Anyways, I like the song. I like that she can carry a she can carry a note without making those annoying little chirpy sounds. Um, and she can captivate you. And the video was very simple. I mean, as they were back during the days, except for a few artists. Um, but it was very simple, but it did, I like how it focused on everybody when she was singing, it focused on her, when her backup singers were singing, they were focused on them, when mm -hmm. her guitarist did the, the little solo, yeah. and the drum were doing the little solo, they were, so she gave everybody equal opportunity time on the video, which was nice, um, but, um, she as was... far as the song goes, uh, yeah, very nice song. Very sad, I mean, in no, a way. It wasn't really. I mean, I mean, it was. It is kind of sad if you think about it, because she lost her love, and she's hoping that one day love will lead you back. No, she said, she said, she knows that one day they'd be back together. So, yeah, she basically said, "Okay, go play. I know you're coming back." Or do you think that no. she's just trying to tell her heart and mind, like so many people do? I don't freaking know. That I just know that love's going to lead you back because. We had that connection. I don't know. I think I, I guess it could be subliminal. It could be. I personally think it just or positive. Well, I think she's like, okay, go on, have your fun, go on, because I know you're gonna come you, back. You're gonna miss this stuff. So, um, but that's just me. So. Yep. Anywho, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.